This story revolves around two young individuals whose chance encounter leads them to uncover a human trafficking operation. Little did they know that their path to heroism would begin with a simple hand signal, a call for help they had seen on social media. At the story's conclusion, we'll unveil an image that vividly illustrates the hand signal's meaning, providing a powerful visual representation of the message it conveys. In the Anderson household, like many families, there were moments of disagreement and at times outright chaos. Jenny, in particular, had a habit of spending a lot of time on her phone, whether it was scrolling through TikTok or watching YouTube videos. One evening, Mrs. Anderson couldn't help but express her frustration. I hope you're not on TikTok again. You're always glued to that screen. Jenny, who was indeed engrossed in a video on her phone, quickly replied, No, Mom, it's YouTube this time. Come on, Jenny, same thing. It's time to do your homework. Meanwhile, downstairs, Mr. Anderson was helping Max with his math homework. Math wasn't Max's favorite subject, and it occasionally led to frustration. Come on, Max, you can do this, Mr. Anderson encouraged, trying to hide his own struggles with algebra. Max, with a furrowed brow, responded, Dad, why do I even need to know this stuff? When will I ever use algebra in real life? Mr. Anderson understood Max's frustration with algebra. He paused for a moment, trying to find the right words. I know it might seem challenging right now, Max, he began, but learning math isn't just about solving equations. It teaches you problem-solving skills, logical thinking, and perseverance. Even if you don't use algebra every day, those skills will help you in many aspects of life. Max thought about his dad's words for a moment, and though he didn't entirely embrace the idea of algebra, he appreciated his dad's encouragement. As the weekend rolled around, the Andersons decided to treat Jenny and Max to a fun day out at the movies. They handed each of them some money for tickets and snacks, and the excitement was palpable. Mr. Anderson drove them to the local cinema, where they planned to watch the latest blockbuster together. Have a great time, you two. As they turned to wave at their parents, Jenny saw a girl in a car that had stopped due to traffic. She seemed to be desperately trying to get their attention. She was making a strange hand gesture, showing her open hand and then closing it with her thumb tucked inside, forming a fist. Jenny, recognizing the gesture from TikTok, immediately turned to Max. Max, she whispered. That's the TikTok sign for help. Max's eyes widened in surprise as he followed Jenny's gaze. He could see the girl in the car making the gesture repeatedly. It was clear that she needed assistance. Seeing the car slowly moving away in traffic, they decided not to use the money their parents had given them for the movies. Instead, they caught a cab and asked the driver to follow the car, hoping to uncover why the girl in the car had signaled for help. They quickly explained the situation to the cab driver and the hand signal they had seen. However, much to their surprise, the cab driver had never heard of such a hand signal for help. He regarded it as nonsense, thinking the kids were playing a prank. Kids these days come up with all sorts of games, he muttered to himself. Undeterred by the cab driver's skepticism, Jenny and Max insisted that they were serious and urged him to call the police to report the suspicious situation. As the car came to a stop, Jenny and Max saw the girl get out of the car, accompanied by a man. The cab driver pointed out, Looks like a father and daughter to me. But just as the man and the girl exited the car, two other men came out of the nearby house and began ushering her and about seven other girls into the back of a van parked nearby. Jenny and Max's heart sank as they witnessed this alarming scene. Jenny and Max were now pleading with the cab driver more urgently than ever. Please, you have to call the police. Something is seriously wrong. The cab driver, realizing the gravity of the situation, muttered to himself, why would they put them in the back of a van instead of a minibus or something? This doesn't seem right. Okay, I'll call. As he dialed, the kids instructed him to follow the van. They knew that time was of the essence. The driver spoke to the police operator, providing information about their location and the suspicious activities they had witnessed. The police responded swiftly to the call. They intercepted the van, pulled it over, and apprehended the men involved. It turned out to be a human trafficking operation, and the police were able to rescue all the girls. The media soon caught wind of the story, highlighting the bravery and quick thinking of Jenny and Max, who had been relentless in their efforts to assist someone in need. 
This also underscored the significance of understanding the hand signal for help. Their courage and determination had led to the dismantling of a dangerous criminal operation, earning them the status of local heroes. The hand signal they had learned from TikTok had proven effective. One of the first things Jenny mentioned to her mom was, see, I learned a lot from TikTok and YouTube. They both shared a laugh and her mom added, yes, but remember everything in moderation. If you enjoyed this story, then I'm certain you'll also appreciate the tale of how a mom aimed to impart a lesson in empathy by paying her daughter's friends not to attend her birthday party. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Until next time, goodbye for now.